Even six years after its launch, the GTX 1060 is still the world's most popular gaming GPU. And that's for good reason, it still performs incredibly well at 1080p and even you could get away with a tiny bit of 1440p gaming. Today I'm testing the 3GB model and it does have some sacrifices over the 6GB model and we'll get into that in a bit. The GTX 1060 3GB launched all the way back in 2016 as a performance segment GPU in the Pascal lineup of GPUs. Built upon the GP106 GPU core, it had 1152 CUDA cores, 3GB of GDDR5 memory, running through a 192-bit bus. The card I've got on test today is the EVGA Superclock single fan variant and it requires one PCIe 6 pin to juice this thing up. Getting into the benchmarks, all testing today is done on my test bench system which has a Ryzen 5 5600G, 16 gigabytes of CL16 DDR4 3200MHz memory and a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Ultra. Starting off with Unigen Superposition at 1080p medium, which is what I like to test on to keep it consistent across all GPUs, the GTX 1060 got 8026. The first game up today is also the newest game and that's F122. It looks a bit better than F1 2021, however, it's still running on the same engine, so graphical fidelity hasn't been upgraded by that much. However, this doesn't affect Codemasters optimization skills and the GTX 1060 free gig still gets 84 FPS on average with 55 for the 1% low. This was on the high preset in the wet Australian benchmark and this is a great performance considering the age of this card. GTA 5 is up next and it's still very popular even though it's 9 years after its launch. It still runs very well with a 3GB card and that's because the main graphics cards that were out at the time were around 2GB in video memory size so that's to be expected. With 103 FPS on average and a 1% low of 75 on the high preset with 2 times MSAA, the GTX 1060 3 gig kills it here, great performance. Dirt 5 is a brand new game to the benchmarking list today and it was built for the ground up for next gen. It looks quite good, however I don't think it's the best Dirt game but that's just my opinion, however it still looks quite good. With 63 FPS on average and a 1% low of 54 FPS at the high settings on the first race, not too bad performance at all here from the GTX 1060 free gig considering that this is a next gen game. The hardest game to run today is coming up and that's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's very hard to run however it is a true next gen game and with 41 FPS on average and 11 FPS for the 1% low this signifies some issues potentially with the 3 gigabytes of video memory. I believe the 3 gigabytes of video memory was capping out which is causing the poor 1% low performance here so I'd probably recommend dropping it to the low preset to get better performance. Our first esports game of today is coming up in Rainbow Six Siege. It's always easy to run, you can pretty much run it on a potato, it's so easy to run. And on the high preset in the in-game benchmark, the GTX 1060 free gig got 166 FPS on average and, and 111 FPS for the 1% low. This is some great performance for them gamers on a 1080p 165Hz monitor, 144Hz monitor. You'll get some great performance out of this GPU. Last game up today is the beautiful Forza Horizon 5. It looks amazing and it runs pretty well with 50 FPS on average and a 1% low of 38 FPS. This was done on the high settings in the in-game benchmark. However, I do recommend potentially the medium preset or perhaps tweaking with some of the things as VRAM here wasn't a concern. If you notice the framing's changed ever so slightly, that's because I had to cool down my camera because it kept overheating, which is very annoying. But I am looking at getting an upgrade, so yeah, just bear with me. Like all Pascal GPUs, the GTX 1060 still performs very great in 2022. A few issues I do have with it though is the 3GB of video memory is 
kind of limiting in newer games as we saw with Assassin's Creed Valhalla the poor 1% low performance is most likely caused by the 3 gigabytes of video memory being maxed out. However, in esports games and older games, this shouldn't really be an issue at all. So if you're into those sorts of games, the 3 gigabyte model of this GPU, considering it costs less than £100 on the used market right now, is actually a very good deal. However, if you're wanting to play a lot newer games, I do recommend something a bit more powerful than the GTX 1060. However, if you're willing to drop a few settings, I would say the 6GB model and even the 3GB model will do you relatively okay. So if you're on a GTX 1060 3GB or you're looking to upgrade a Dell Optiplex to a GTX 1060 3GB, I would say it's not a bad GPU, it still performs pretty well at 1080p even in some newer games as long as you're willing to sacrifice a few settings. With all that being said, I'm going to leave the video here. So if you like the video, like it and stay subscribed for more tech content and I'll catch you in the next one.